Hello, I'm Maximo Trinidad, Technology Evangelist for Sapient Technologies, Inc. In this video, I'll be creating and deploying a PowerShell Windows service with Sapiens Primal Script 2018. Last year, we blogged about creating a Windows service for killing the solitaire game when it's running. In this video, I will be recreating the script and the MSI installer to set up the Windows service on my Windows 10 system. To create a PowerShell Windows service with Primal Script, click on File, select New, then in Templates, look and double click on PowerShell Service. This will open the PowerShell Service template. At this time, I can save the file, give it a name, and create a Windows Service folder so I can save the file in its own location. Let's work on the script. Basically, the template provides three functions. Start my service, invoke my service, and stop my service. These functions have comments with some hints on what you can do to them. Please take the time to read the comments within the functions. Basically, the invoke my service function is where I add the main logic that will run in the Windows service. I got the logic save in the Primal Script snippet section to save time. I'm going to add the symbol code into the invoke my service function. I'm going to open my snippet browser, lock the panel under my Windows PowerShell. I got my my custom snippet section, and under there I have my solitaire killer logic. I'm going to go to my code. And under my invoke my service function, I'm going to look inside the while here in the try. Here's going to add the code. I'm going to put my cursor there. I'm going to double click in my snippet uh, section here, and that will paste the code automatically where the cursor is at. Notice that with only a few lines of code, I will check for the solitaire process. If it's active, then it's going to end the program. Here's looking for the solitaire process. And here's the logic that will uh, stop the process. One thing to note is that if, when you use the right host, anything that you want to comment, it will be logged in the Windows event log. Now that I completed adding the logic, let me save the file and proceed to create a script executable using the packages section. I go to deploy section and first I work on the packager settings. In here, we have the script engine, output settings, execution restrictions, version information, build commands. For this sample, we're going to work only on the first four. We don't, we're not going to do anything with the uh, build commands. So the script engine, uh, by default, will show 32 and 64-bit. Uh, in this case, I want to make sure it stays in 64-bit. Uh, on the script engine, I'm going to scroll all the way down and make sure I pick, in this case, PowerShell 
v5, safety and partial v5 Windows service. On the output, uh, it will assume the, uh, the script name. And you see here, we'll create the executable. The folder, it will, uh, by default, will be automatically come with a bin unless you change, you create a folder in order to put your, your, your service script. In this case, I created one label Windows service and then with the name of the uh, script. That way I isolate uh, the, the program by itself. Uh, and then at the bottom, alternate, alternate credentials, uh, leave it on the current users. You can, you have different options in there. You can uh, use impersonate user or run as user, but I'm going to leave it as current user. Uh, execution restrictions. I'm only going to create uh, the Windows service for Windows 10, so I'll make sure I have Windows 10 selected. And at the bottom here, it says allow only one instance. So you can create executable that you can run multiple times uh, uh, on, on, your, on your console, on, on your machine. You can double click and run it multiple times. In this case, I just only want to run one instance of, of the executable. So it's selected, normally it's unselected. So I selected uh, version. Well, here is when you put your version, uh, your file version for the executable, and you fill in the information, product name, description, you can be very informative in here. Okay, uh, and then you click OK. Uh, to build uh, the executable, you can do only the build button in here, or you can build and run the executable. But in this case, I'm only going to go for the build. At the bottom on the uh, the output tool here, it will show the tool output messages. Uh, any error message will display in there if anything's wrong. This case says package complete. I mean, our uh, build was successful. Now we'll proceed for the installer section. So you go to installer settings. This is what will create the MSI installation. Uh, it seems a little redundant, but here it will come. You have to fill in the product name uh, and some information here might show up in the beginning blank. Most important part is the product on the uh, product details, the product type. You gotta make sure you pick uh, what is the product uh, type for the executable. In this case, it's a Windows service. Uh, other options, MSI, I have selected it's only a 64-bit installer, installer on user, so you can be very uh, flexible in here. Minimum PowerShell required, I'm going to use PowerShell, I'm going to select PowerShell version 5. Now in the next section here, files and folder, here is where you need to add the, the executable that you built from the packager. So you can see here Windows Server, installer, bin 64, and this will be the uh, uh, the dot exe. Here's where you're gonna include the executable in that that will be de deployed. You need to fill out this information: the MSI installer name, uh, output uh, for the uh, for the MSI. Is when you build the MSI, it's gonna put on my temp folder. You can put any other folder. Uh, you know, you create your own installation folder. Uh, and then in the staging, it's just a matter of, you know, where the generally all the other rest of the information of the MSI will be built. Um, you can sign the, uh, the executable and you have custom action, which I'm not going to discuss in here, but you can be, uh, you can have to check this out because it's very, uh, a lot, a little bit of, uh, extensibility for your MSI. As all those settings are uh, done. So just go ahead and click on the build. That will create the MSI. And now we see here, build, MSI build complete. And now we can go ahead and check on our uh, Windows Explorer that the MSI was created. And see here, I open my Windows Explorer temp folder and my solitaire killer MSI was created. 
Okay, now let's install the Windows Service uh, Solitaire Killer into my system. And bring my, check the services installed. The refresh. And my Solitaire Killer service is installed and running in my Windows 10. Okay, so now we're gonna test that our solitaire killer service will stop the solitaire game. And as you can see, it stopped the solitaire game from running. If you need to go back and uninstall, uh, the service and you can go back to control panel at remove program let's do a refresh in here and you see a solitary game application the uninstall is available if you want to remove the service and that's it for uh, how can we create a windows service using primal script for more information feel free to go online and visit our saving technologies products information center and blog pages. Thank you very much.